Hey, welcome. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I wanted to talk about some things you can get at Target. So I don't know if you're anything like me recently. I feel like I've been spending a ton of time at Target or like over the last few months just with coronavirus happening. Anytime I needed something, Target was often like my go-to spot. So like if I needed groceries, Target was great. If I needed like cat food, Target was awesome. If I needed like a makeup item, which didn't really need, but if I needed a makeup item, Target was it. So I have been to Target a lot. I mean, not that that's anything out of the ordinary in general, but I feel like in comparison to other stores, I've been to Target a lot. <laughs> other stores, not so much. But over the last few months, and some of these products are like products I've had for a while that I love, um, I feel like I've kind of come up with a few products that are from Target that I've just been like, I love these and I wanna talk about them. So today I have eight products that I wanna share with you that I think are great summer essentials that are from Target. The first one is some deodorant. I have been on a deodorant journey for the last few years of trying different natural deodorants and there's quite a few that I like. Native is one that I just recently have been going back to over and over. Um, part of it I think is because my husband's been buying it on Amazon and so he'll just buy like a three pack and they show up at our house and so I just use it. Um, but honestly, this is a great deodorant. I was a little taken aback by the price of it when I first purchased it. It's like $10.99 I think. Um, but it's really great. So this one that I actually just bought at Target the other day, this is one of the sensitive formulas and it's the Cotton and Lily scent. I love the different scents that they have. I really enjoy florally ones. This one is really light. I don't know if it's because it's one of the sensitive formulas. I'm not really quite sure what's different about the sensitive formula except that it's aluminum free and baking soda free. And I do know there's been deodorants in the past that I've had like irritation to that have baking soda in them. But the normal native formula I also haven't had issues with. But this is so great. I mean, summer, you get stinky. It's hot. It's very hot outside. It's very steamy. And deodorant is like a necessity. And so I just wanted to share that one because I think it's great, especially if you're in the market for a natural deodorant. Native is wonderful. I know it can be a little bit pricey, but it's very worth it. The next item is something, this is just a strange product, but I'll get to it. This is the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Age Defense Cream. This has SPF 20 in it. So I've noticed recently, I'm getting some wrinkles on my neck. I'm 31 and I have noticed like it happens. I mean, you can see them at any time of the day, but I definitely notice as the day progresses, if I put like bronzer on my neck, um, it kind of like settles into my lines on my neck and it drives me crazy. Like I'll be in the bathroom washing my hands and look in the mirror and I'm like, <gasps> Ooh, and try and like rub it out. Cause I just, uh, I hate it. I've heard in the past that like your neck and your chest and like your hands show age the fastest. And I've always been like, um, eh, sure. And like, I definitely know like my hands, I don't feel like they look like I'm an old lady, but they definitely don't look like spring chicken hands. And my neck recently, I've just been like, <laughs> Oh my God, maybe it's true. And so I've been a little bit more cautious about my neck. I've I've been applying sunscreen every day, um, but I actually was sent this product in Influencer and it came like a month after I started noticing that like I was really having some neck issues um not that it's an issue and it's probably it's not bad it's just something that i've noticed that i was a little bit self-conscious about and so i was actually like so excited to get this i was pumped and so i've been using this 
in the mornings pretty much every day and if I don't use it because I'm like running low on time I do still put a sunscreen on my neck because my face moisturizer has a sunscreen and so this is just like my double whammy. So the package says, physically different than other skin on your body, the delicate neck and chest area is one of the first to show signs of aging. See, they know. Neck and chest age defense is formulated with key ingredients to help protect from visible, visible signs of premature aging on the neck and chest and defend from the damaging effects of daily UV exposure. I honestly don't know if I've noticed a ton of difference since using this. Just, I mean, skincare always takes a while for you to like notice a difference, but I just feel better having some sunscreen on my neck. And so I thought I would mention it, and I know I have seen this at Target. I double checked to make sure it's at Target. Also, all of these products are cruelty free. I didn't know that Gold Bond was cruelty free. I looked it up a little while ago. And they are, which is awesome. The next item, this is a product that I have used for years and years and just recently repurchased it. This is the EOS Shave Cream and I have it in the scent Lavender Jasmine. So I am normally the kind of person that doesn't use shave cream or like shave gel. I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. My legs are fine. I'll just throw some body wash on and do some shaving, um, which I think is fine. I haven't really had any issues, but this is just such a luxurious feeling when you put this on. It's like lotion for your legs and then you shave and so it leaves you really nice and moisturized, which in the summer is like such a needed thing. I'm wearing a dress today. I'm usually wearing a dress or like shorts every day when it's this hot and having your legs look moisturized, so good. And so I love this. The scent on this, there's other scents, but this one's my favorite. I've used this one for years. I've recommended this to so many people, um, and like in my real life. And so I just thought I'd mention it because I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, but it is solid. Summer always makes me reflect on how white I am and wishing that I was tanner, which brings in a self tanner. I actually picked this up last fall, um, so like six months ago or so. This is from Tanologist and this is from Target. This is the Express Tan Self Tan Water and I have it in the shade Medium. This is really great. I actually used this last night. Um, you're supposed to only leave it on, I think it says one to four hours. Yeah, you're supposed to leave it on for one to four hours and then like shower it off. I typically leave it on overnight because more is more and I don't usually have an issue with it. I will say the first few times I used it, I don't think I used enough product and so it came out a little splotchy because I was afraid of using too much. It kind of backfired and I didn't get like an even coverage. So now I use quite a bit of product and I use a tanning mitt, like a little spongy kind of thing and use it in like circular motions to apply the product. I just spray it right onto the mitt and then work it into my skin. Um, I used it last night and I mean, I feel a little tan. Although my arms have been pretty tan this year. It just helps even everything out. I have been spending a lot of time outside this summer, but that means I have a lot of tan lines, like tank top tan lines, cap sleeve tan lines, like full, like regular short sleeve tan lines, like three quarter length. I just have like lots of lines, a watch line. And so this really helps just kind of even it all out. And then my legs don't seem to ever get tan. And so this really helps with that. Um, but I, I love this. I think this is, it's definitely on the more inexpensive side. I wanna say it's like $10.99, maybe like around $15. But honestly, that's pretty inexpensive for a tanning product. And I've used this a lot and I'm like halfway done with it. I've probably applied this honestly 10 to 12 times and I'm like halfway through. So I feel like that is a pretty good deal for this. Off subject, I mean, this is also something you can get at Target and I often buy this at Target. This is bubbly sparkling water. I know this is a little bit newer to the sparkling water world, which if you are a fan of sparkling water, you've probably tried it. Do you have a favorite sparkling water? I think I still lean towards LaCroix rather than bubbly, 
but um, I do enjoy the strawberry one. I get it every so often because it's quite delicious. Next up, I have a toner. This is from Bliss. I have been kind of in the search for a new toner for a while. I used to use the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I really enjoy that. I've also used the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner and really enjoy that. And then recently I tried the Ordinary Glycolic Toner and did not like that. Um, I want to say I tried another one too and just did not have any good luck with it. So I got this one because I've had good luck with Bliss Skincare. This is the What a Melon Replenishing Watermelon Toner. This has Witch Hazel, Willow Bark, and Hyaluronic Acid. So I feel like this isn't anything like what my Glycolic Acid Toner was, but it's also kind of similar. So the description says, Hello, pick me up. This light and refreshing toner with Hyaluronic Acid is the ultimate skin replenisher transforming it from tired and stressed to refreshed and energized stat. Powered by a rejuvenating blend of watermelon extract, balancing electrolytes, and poor refining willow bark, say see ya to toxins and dead cells and hello to all the good stuff, antioxidants, nutrients, and respecting skin's natural balance. I feel like summer is such a great time to use a toner. Like I feel like I'm just like, <laughs> burning through my skin cells like is that does is that a thing i don't think so i feel like i'm like burning through my skin layers not that i'm getting sunburnt on my face and i do use a sunscreen i just feel like there's something about summer that like my skin just always kind of feels a little bit tired especially right now with wearing a mask i feel like i just need something like to get in and kind of like refresh my skin and I have been loving this. I feel like this has given me such great results. And it just has like a light watermelon scent to it. So it's really nice to use in the mornings. It's got a little flip top with like a pump that you can use. Um, you can use this with like a reusable cotton pad. You can use it with a regular cotton pad or the washcloth, whatever your choice. Um, but I really enjoy this. And this again, Bliss is kind of like that mid-range price, kind of like a Mario Badescu price. Um, I think this was like $15, which actually, I didn't buy this at Target. I got this at Ulta, but you can get it at either place, but they have it at Target. That was where I originally found it, and I've been loving it. Lastly, I wanna wrap it up with three different makeup products. The first one, which if you have been on my channel or been a subscriber for any length of time, you have probably heard of me talk about the Burt's Bees Tempted Lip Balm. I love this stuff. I went through a phase probably about two years ago, like not last summer, but the summer before, where I think I went through two of these in the summer. I just started using this again and I remembered why I love it. I know lip products are hard to use right now. I've talked about it. If you're wearing a mask, a lip product is just annoying at this point. This is great though if you are just like going to be out running errands and you want something on your lips because I also feel like masks have been drying my lips out like crazy. My lips have been so dry and so this is like super nice and moisturizing with a little bit of a tint. So if you have to wipe it off to put your mask on, it's not the end of the world. It comes right off. It's so easy to just like get rid of. It's not going to make a mess. But then you can also reapply it like super fast. It's like chapstick. And so I've been going back to this again. I have it in the shade Xenia. I'm wearing it right now. It's just a really nice like orangey kind of pink color. And they do have multiple colors in this. This is just my favorite one. But I love this so much and this one's almost gone and I think I probably need to get another one. Another newer product, this is from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Pressed Powder and it's in the shade 1 Translucent Fair. They have different shades in this. Um, I think they're all supposed to be a little bit more translucent kind of looking rather than like an opaque powder or something that really gives you coverage. Um, but they come in different shades so that you don't have to be like chalky white if you don't have super white skin. So this is really nice. I've had this for maybe a month or so, 
I love to use this for touch-ups and I actually really like to use like a small little brush. I'm gonna do it right now. This is a little elf brush. I don't remember what it's called, but it's just like a little tapered brush and I love to just tap into this and then kind of like set right in the areas where I get a little shiny throughout the day which I did my makeup about six hours ago now and so I haven't touched up my face. So this is a nice little touch up. It does a little bit of mattifying without making you look super flat. And so I use this in the morning as like a setting powder under my eyes or if I'm going in with like a super easy look, I'll just put concealer on and then set with this. And it just looks really nice on the skin. It gives just like the tiniest bit of coverage and it really lasts a long time for it being like a translucent kind of powder. It really like lasts on the skin well, it wears great and you can touch up with it so easily without looking overdone or cakey and it just looks so beautiful. So I've been loving this. I think this is such a great thing for summer. Um, the, this I think is around $10. It might be a little bit more than that. I want to say like CoverGirl makes like the CoverGirl like clean line, which I know they just kind of redid. I think it's all like the pink stuff now. Um, but like the classic CoverGirl like powders, I know were cheaper. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's like a 10 to $12. I don't honestly remember, but I've been loving it so much. The last product is a mascara. This was something I was not expecting to like. This was one of those things I was at a Target probably two months ago now, and I was kind of running some errands. I needed to pick up a few things for around the house and for work, and I was kind of walking through the makeup aisle as you do at Target, and was like, I could use a new mascara. And I was like, okay, I'll get the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I love that mascara. And they were actually out of the black one. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try something else. I just happened to stumble upon the LA Girl section at Target, which is kind of newer to Target. So I picked up this mascara, which is the LA Girl Volumatic Lash Lifting Mascara. Whew. Oh my goodness. I am so happy I picked this up. This has been fantastic for summer. So if you don't know, I live in Minneapolis, which in the summer gets quite hot and humid. I have pretty oily skin and throughout the day, mascaras typically wear off on me or not wear off, but they transfer. They tend to transfer super easily. So I'll get it like on my brow bone or like underneath my eye. I'll just get like some mascara spots and it drives me crazy. This is literally the only mascara I have found that does not transfer at all. And I, so I did just do my mascara actually. I left early this morning and it did my face makeup, but I didn't do my eye makeup because I knew I was gonna come back and film a video. And so I was like, you know what? We'll just save that for later. So I just applied this mascara like half hour ago and it, it dries a little, like it's not like a, it's definitely not a natural mascara. Like sometimes the mascara dries and you can touch it and you're like, oh, it just feels like my lashes. This one does not. It definitely feels a little crispy. It feels, I mean, you can definitely feel it. But it gives such great results. I'm gonna see if I can get closer so you can see it. Like, what? My lashes, it just adds so much length, it adds so much volume. It lifts my lashes, which it, I think that's what it says. Yeah, Lash Lifting Mascara. It totally does. It lifts my lashes. I didn't even curl my lashes today. Cause I honestly, with this mascara, curling your lashes or not does not make a difference. And it just, they literally, it, it stays there all day, does not move. Your lashes stay in place, it does not transfer, the mascara does not make a mess. It's so great. The only thing, this is a tubing mascara. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, essentially it goes around your lashes and creates these like little tubes that just kind of like coat your lashes. 
but it can be a little tricky to get off, especially if you don't know that's what kind of mascara this is. So the first time I used this, I put it on, was like, wow, this is really great. This looks really great on my lashes. And I will say also the first like two to three times that I used this, it was a little too wet for my personal taste. Like the formula was a little wet. Um, it took a little while to dry and I feel like I wasn't able to build up as much volume. But now that it's dried out just a little bit, it's in its sweet spot. Now, unfortunately, it's actually on its way out. I need to get a new one because this is amazing. But anyways, I was saying to take, like the first time I wore it, I went to take it off at night and I typically use um, a Lush product. It's the Sleepy Face. It's like a solid cleanser that's kind of like a solid oil. And usually I just like run it along my lash line and then like rub it into my eyes and everything comes off. This mascara went nowhere and I was like, what happened? How do I get this off? It's literally, I just have mascara on still. How is all of my eyeshadow gone, but still my mascara is there? I was so confused. And so I just kind of started like rubbing my fingers through my lashes like with water and was like, why is this not coming off? And sure enough, little tubes were just coming off. So when you use a tubing mascara, you just remove it with water, which seems strange. But so how I like to do it is usually take, I have a makeup eraser that actually works great because you just get, it's like a washcloth that you get wet. And then I just kind of rub it along like the underneath side of my lashes and it comes off no problem. Or I'll take my fingers and get them damp and like just run it through my lashes and gently kind of pull the tubes off. But that was the only kind of like learning curve with it. The wand is a little funky. I should say that it's got, I mean, really the wand itself is like great. Like this is kind of like my ideal kind of wand but the tip on it kind of has this little like ball that especially when it's newer, it's hard to use because it collects a lot of mascara on that tip. And so when you go to use it, it just gets a little messy. But once again, after it dries out for like a week, it's perfect. So I had to mention this. I think I just talked about this for like 10 minutes straight because it's literally like my favorite mascara now and I can't stop using it. When I wear something else, I'm like, why doesn't it look like this mascara? This mascara looks so good though. And so I had to mention this in summer favorites because it's literally like so great for summer. It's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move. It's so good. But those were it. Those were the eight products that you can find at Target near you. I know places are opening back up again. I know I haven't really been going out and about still not really like going out to eat, going to work, running to the grocery store and pretty much coming home. That's still kind of been my life. Maybe a thrift run here and there, um, but still trying to keep it pretty minimal and like Target still seems to be one of those places that I just keep going to for some necessities. And so I'm sh I knew that you guys were probably feeling the same way and Target has probably been a staple during this time. So I wanted to talk about products that you can find at Target that are gonna be so great for the summer months. But um, what are some of your summer favorites? I'd love to hear about them, whether they're from Target or not. I'd love to hear about them down below. Please leave me your favorite summer favorites because we're in summer for a while and I need to try some new things. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.